Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best super zoom camera. Starting at number 5. Panasonic Lumix FC80 Digital. Affordable and capable, the Panasonic Lumix FC80 is a good starting point into super zoom bird photography. The 60x zoom is exciting until you realize that a lot of it is digital zoom and will be very blurry. The Power OAS is great for stabilizing your shots, even at the far end of the optical zoom range. We also liked the 4K QFHD video recording capabilities. That made it very easy to capture high-quality videos of birds flying and pull individual frames as still photos. This is a notable feature at this price point. Aside from the blurry digital zoom, there is another problem holding this camera back. Eta Euro Trademark S got pretty poor low-light performance. For the price, we didn't Euro Trademark T expect anything different though. Overall, Eta Euro Trademark S a very capable camera, but when birding with a super zoom lens, we Euro Trademark D rather have the clarity of all optical magnification, instead of the poor image quality you get with digital zoom. Coming at number 4. Nikon Colpix P1000 Digital. Equipped with the most powerful zoom lens of any Nikon Colpix camera ever, the P1000 is a capable beast that can give you a Euro trademark SI view of any feathered subjects off on the horizon. The 3000mm optical zoom is incredible, and it put us right into the action of things that were happening so far off we couldn't Euro trademark T see it with the naked eye. On top of this, the dual detect image stabilization meant we could capture these super zoom pictures even while operating this camera by hand. The low light performance was admirable and allowed for clear shots that were free of grain, even during sundown. We also appreciated the 4K UHD video when it came time to take action sequences. This was especially important since the max speed this camera can continuously shoot at is just 7 frames per second. This is Nayuro Trademark TA Deal Breaker but we prefer at least 10 frames per second. The final drawback of the Colpix P1000 is that Eta Euro Trademark S just so bulky and heavy. Eta Euro Trademark S large in the hands and not the most comfortable to hold. Worse, at just over 3 pounds, the extra weight adds up quickly. This can introduce extra shake into your arms as they wear out. At number 3. Sony A99 II Digital Super Zoom. To say we were impressed with Sony A99 II is a bit of an understatement. This camera is near the current pinnacle of digital camera technology and the performance it offers is hard to match at any price. The autofocus is so fast you don't a Euro trademark T even notice it. Pictures are clear and free of blurring since they a Euro trademark re not only in focus but Thea Euro Trademark Re also stabilized by the 5-axis in-body image stabilization. This means you can shoot professional quality photographs even when hand-holding it. Such performance is a Euro Trademark T cheap and you a Euro Trademark LL be shelling out a small fortune for this camera. Even more when you consider that you a Euro Trademark LL have to purchase lenses separately. Birding takes place in nature where the weather and other elements can always affect you in ways you may not have foreseen. The A99 II is prepared for all conditions with a dust and moisture resistant chassis that keeps it safe from whatever conditions you find yourself in. With 12 frames per second continuous shooting, you can have full resolution photos of entire sequences. Imagine that perfect shot of a seagull dive bombing the water and carrying away a fish in its beak captured as an action sequence in progress. Each shot perfectly clear. Number 2 of my list. Canon PowerShot Digital Super Zoom. At about a third of the cost of our first place pick, the Canon PowerShot SX70 packs in quite a bang for your buck. The 65x optical zoom puts you right in the middle of the action and delivers high-quality images every time. To aid in this, the excellent image stabilization Theta Euro trademark S built-in will eliminate any hand shaking or unsteadiness, so you are free to shoot by hand and not be forced to lug a heavy tripod around. Our one complaint with the PowerShot SX70 is that sometimes Eta Euro trademark S a bit slow to focus. Compared to the blazing fast autofocus of some of the other models we tested, this one seems a bit lethargic. But those other models are also many times the price of this one. 
With 4K video, you can capture video and still get perfect still shots, which is a great way to get photos of flying or diving birds. Between the great performance and low price, we think the Canon PowerShot SX70 is the best super zoom camera for birding for the money. And number 1. Nikon DX Format Digital. Quick to focus with excellent low light performance. The Nikon D500 is the super zoom camera we recommend most for birding. The DX Format SEMA sensor is compatible with any lens in the Nikkor lineup, though it is going to be an added expense to add a few to your arsenal. At £2 this is a Euro trademark T the lightest camera, but Eta Euro trademark S one of the most capable. 153 autofocus points ensure your target is always captured in perfect clarity and is never out of focus. The sensor lets in enough light to achieve excellent low-light photos that are free of grain and noise. Helping aid this even further, the native ISO goes up to 51,200 and the extended ISO goes to 1,640,000. We Euro trademark D never crank it that high, but it can safely go high enough to brighten up even the darkest photos without introducing excessive noise. For capturing birds in motion, we suggest trying the 4K UHD video at 30 frames per second that lets you pull any frame as a still image so you never miss a single beat of their wings. Overall, this is the best super zoom camera for birding we have reviewed. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.